Hello and welcome to Pine Tree State Restorations. What I have here today is a 1972 Normat battery operated toy snowmobile uh, made in Minnesota in 1972. They only made about 60,000 of these between 72 and 73, I believe. This one here has a lot of problems. Uh, arrived to me in pieces. We got a bad headlight. We fixed that already. Take the seat off here. The chassis. You can see it's got metal skis. And here's the big problem. The gearbox. These toys are very fragile. I mean fragile. The plastic they used was soft. It's very, it's just very touchy stuff. Well, when I got this, this was in a million pieces, this gearbox. And what the deal was, was there's a shaft that goes through that middle gear there. If you can see. And I made a new one out of a drill bit. I made it a little tiny bit bigger than the original so I could keep the gear square. And then I had to make some new shafts for that big roller there for the track, the drive, the drive for the track. And the motor... You can see that white piece right underneath that plastic there. I had to make a little shim out of plastic because I had to shim that motor over because there was enough wear on the gears that there was too much gap. So I reversed the gear on the motor because believe it or not, that's a brass gear and there was a lot of wear on it, which surprised me being that it was riding on plastic. Got everything tight now. Everything's tight and there's no play in the gears whatsoever. It runs smooth. There's that. The track must have sat in the sun somewhere. I don't know, but it is has a couple of bad spots in it. I flattened them out, heated it up, flattened them out. It needs to have a new track. I'm going to try to make one down the road, but this one will work for now. This was not really designed to go on snow. It's more like a carpet machine. But the problem with that is, is you get any carpet or any dirt in these gears and you're going to jam it right up. And the batteries, 2D batteries go in here underneath the snowmobile. They're actually in the snow if you were in the snow. And the batteries act like bogey wheels for the track because they actually ride on the track. Isn't that weird? And steering, that was another thing. The skis were bent, <laughs> them all fixed. And this steering is the funkiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Excuse my finger in the picture there. But the uh, steering is really weird on this thing. It's really weird. I got that all bent back into shape. The skis were all bent. Someone played with it pretty hard. I have the handlebars and uh, I have to put it back together. I worked on this gearbox for a couple hours. Like I said, I had to make three new shafts for the gearbox. And I had to shim that motor over probably about 20 thousandths of an inch. So I took my Dremel. The motor sits in a cradle, half round cradle. And I had to Dremel out on one side and then make a, make a, a, a plastic bushing to go in there to to push that motor over so I could get it closer to everything. And like I said, they got all the gears tight now and it runs perfect. Um, so we're going to put it back together. We got a new headlight in it. We still have to make new axles for the rear uh, drum of the track. It goes back here. Got to make new axles for that. And then when you put it together, you put the track on and the whole assembly goes up underneath with only two screws holding the whole thing in. Right there. Two fat screws. These two screws are the only thing holding that whole track assembly in the snowmobile. Which is very fragile. And then the hood, there's only one screw that holds that on that comes up through here. And this clips underneath the seat, which only has two screws holding it on. So as you can see, this whole thing is a pretty fragile unit. 
Now, they made a Polaris, an Arctic Cat, and they made several different John Deere's. They made a JDX-8, and I believe they made a, uh, maybe a liquefier, too. But these things are highly collectible on eBay. They go anywhere from $200 to $500 if they're mint in the box. And the best way to get these is mint in the box if you're going to collect them. Because then you're guaranteed there's nothing wrong with them and there's no damage like this one. This one got played with. This one got damaged. So now it's here getting restored. So if you find one or you want to collect these, which is really cool to collect, but you're, you're going to spend some money is uh, you want to get them in the box and don't play with them. Don't run them in the snow and and don't run them on the carpet. Just, you know, you can take them out of the box and play with them, but just don't don't run them. The plastic, like I said, on this on this gear box is extremely fragile. These gears are too. I can't even believe they made something like that in the 70s. But it is what it is. They're really cool. And it's a Normat, and they were in business from 1968 to 1974 in Minnesota. They also made plastic model kits of snowmobiles that were not motorized. They made uh, Winnebago's. They made all kinds of cool stuff, but their claim to fame were these toy snowmobiles, battery-operated snowmobiles. They're very highly collectible and very cool. So, I will see you when she's back together again, and thank you for watching. Please hit like, and please hit subscribe and we will be back. Thank you.